that I've actually been reading or catching up and trying to finish or polish Little Miss Adventures was a polish off reading some of the black female black cozy not cozy female black mystery author series this is a lot for me that I've been reading for the past uh, eight to nine years on and off and the first one that I actually finished this week was the rest of Barbara Neely's Blanche White series you know Blanche White is a domestic black I don't like these middle age I don't want to to, you know, I don't want to go around all that stuff with age and, and women, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, she's a black domestic housekeeper. Um, per book, she is involved with a different family. But um, I kind of savored my way through reading that series. I haven't started it a couple, years, a couple maybe five or six years ago. And I just now recently read the, sec the third and the fourth, which is the final book of that series. So Blanche is off of my list. I've caught myself up with that series and it is done. Okay. Not completely because those books are just incredible as is. I'm, now I'm happy that I have them in my personal library to read whenever I want. But I will go ahead and just say if you haven't read Blanche's series, girl, do yourself a favor and read them. I can tell you right now the third book which is Blanche Cleans Up was my favorite. That book was off the chain. That was a good read. Anyway, Going along with that, after I finished reading Blanche's series, I only have one book left in Nora Deloach's Mama series. You know, Mama, the Mama series is what I call like a soul food read. It's very big on Southern settings and language, and it involves a paralegal named Simone and her mother who are teaming up pre each book, which is eight books in this series. They're teaming up to solve these small town crimes. Um, the one that I just finished actually last night, which was Friday night, was Mama Cracks a Mask of Innocence, which I ended up giving four stars because I think that was probably her best book. You know, she's an eight book series. Her best work came out of that last book. Then again, I should reread the series to actually understand, you know, I was like in my 20s or something when I started this series. So I need, there's a lot of things that I probably don't remember picking up. But um, I'm sad to let the Mama series go. But, you know, like we're done. I said, let's go to move on to the next one. So keeping along with this, keeping along with this subject matter, I'm going to share with you guys the books that I'm going to be focusing on in the second, the series and authors I'm going to be focusing on in the second week of August. As of today, I'm going to be starting Chassie West. Um, Killing Ken. This is the second book in her. The author, the, the, the main protagonist is a ex DC cop named Lee Ann Warren. I want to say uh, Lee Ann Warren. Um, she's on disability. Um, in the first book, Sunrise, she, you know, she had an accident or situation where she's on disability. She moves back to her hometown and solves a murder involved in that whole area. And I want to say because this series consists of four books that each book is going to be in that same area. I'm not 100% sure because it's, it's been over three years since I read that first book. But I'm going to be really reading Kill and Ken and I want to go ahead and point out the fact that um, I got my coffee. Yes, I, I drank it through a straw and I put a little uh, paper towel over it for, for right now, okay? <laughs> Just for right now. But I'm going to be drinking my coffee and starting this book as soon as I finish here. And then after I feel like finished reading Killing Ken, I got Killer Riches, which is the third book in the Chassie West's series. And unfortunately, I don't have a fourth book, but there's a truck right now as we speak traveling from Atlanta to Birmingham that has that book on it okay so I'm, I'm girl I'm ready okay I'm ready so after I read the Chassie West series um, I'm gonna finish up Eleanor Taylor Bland's series and, you know Eleanor Taylor Bland she writes the Marty McAllister series Marty McAllister is a mother she's a, a homicide detective who resides in this fictional town called Lincoln Prairie it's like an offset community to Chicago so she she actually transferred from Chicago's police department to Lincoln Prairie and she works alongside this Italian I think he's isn't he Italian he's either Jewish or Italian they'd like to point out in this book but this other guy who's a partner and they go from each book solving cases Marty McAllister series has been so strong I think it got weak to me around that one book where she went on vacation that's when I kind of stuttered but um, I've been reading that series for a long time for the past few years and I only got three books left and now I'm going to be moving into this book which is Fatal Remains. I actually bought this a while ago 
And um, I'm on, I had a receipt somewhere, but I was on page 56 when I stopped because Al McAllister, excuse me, Bland was switching perspectives and was getting on my nerves. Like, girl, I'm here for Marty McAllister and that's it. I don't need to know about this character and that character. Only Marty, okay? So I got this book and then I have the next to last book and the last book going. I'll receive them by the end of this week, this upcoming week. So. I got three books there, three books in the Chassie West series that I'm finishing, and those series are going to be closed off. And that's kind of why I'm not exactly going to pick up um, reading this right away. Although I want to. I'm going to wait. I know you guys know how I am. I'm anal retentive, among other things. And, <laughs> no. Okay. But my point is that I like to stay focused. I really want to stay focused and wrap all these series up because I want to finish reading um because I want so many series that I start by black female authors in a mystery genre you know I still have VM Burns you know she has at least five books now that I need to catch up with starting with the second book and then I have all of Olivia Matthews's books can you see that? I have all but I only read the first one that you guys know I made a video of so it's just like I want to get to those older ones and because there's so many is new ones you know what I mean like there's new ones out too so it's like I want to go ahead and just wrap it that's just how I am that's just how I am when I get myself on a project I see it to I was gonna say fruition but I see it to the end so that is all oh one more thing a lot of people have asked me over time a lot of people have asked me have I read Rachel Howzell Hall and this is the first book in her detective series, Eloise Detective Series, which is Land of Shadows. No, I haven't read it. I checked these both out today, girl. I was like, I'm going to do me something with this book. No, I'm going to go ahead and buy my own copy because I got it for like $11.99 and my Amazon card in hardback. And we're going to jump off from there. So I basically went to the library. For, nope, I went to it for a good reason because I discovered this while I was there. Hold on. So that is it, y'all. That's just how I am. You know, there's nothing I can do about it. But I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you so much for all the likes, comments, and subscriptions. I sound like the New York Times or something, right? But I appreciate it anyway. Thank y'all so much. And hopefully I'll get back into the groove real soon of being back with you guys and communicating on all your videos and stuff. Gotta go. See y'all later.